Michael Porter is viewed by many as one of, if not the, master when it comes to academic thinking on competitive advantage. In one of the most famous and informative writings on the subject, Porter, in his book Competitive Advantage, Creating and Sustaining Superior Performance, proposes strategies for achieving competitive advantage. This video runs through what these strategies are. To be successful, businesses must have some form of competitive advantage over their rivals. Porter describes three key areas where businesses may derive their competitive advantage. These are cost leadership, differentiation and focus. Cost leadership. Competitive advantage can be created through cost leadership. If you are able to make your business the lowest cost provider in the market, you will improve your chances of success. Having economies of scale in your production or having considerable market share allow you to achieve this. Ryanair and Aldi are good examples of businesses who have focused on providing low cost alternatives to their competitors, often sacrificing customer experience in order to allow them to remain less costly than other market players. Differentiation. Being able to successfully differentiate your product or service in such a way that meets your customer needs more accurately will allow you to gain competitive advantage over your rivals. This may be achieved by identifying what the most important factor your potential customer base focus on when they look to buy from a business. This could be customer service, creating ethical products, creating fashionable branding, amongst many other differentiating factors. Retail suppliers of electricity have sought to procure their electricity from renewable generation in recent years, believing that customers have become more environmentally conscious and may be willing to pay more money for electricity procured via solely renewable generation. Focus. Businesses may decide to look at one particular aspect of a market, i.e. they may find a niche to focus on. To do this, they may develop expertise within this niche market that meets the needs of a targeted group of customers. An example could be a car manufacturer focusing on very expensive sports cars that are generally only bought by a very small proportion of the car buying population. Porter splits focus into two parts, a niche focus on cost and a niche focus on differentiation. This diagram outlines the different strategies for achieving competitive advantage. Achieving cost leadership achieves competitive advantage by offering low cost products or services to a large market. Differentiation through customer service or environmentally friendly products can also achieve competitive advantage in this large market. When looking to focus on a market niche and therefore a smaller target market, competitive advantage can be obtained by focusing on cost or differentiation. Generally, businesses will not be able to achieve all three avenues for competitive advantage. Some may be able to achieve two of the three strategies, however, this can be difficult. Being the cost leader in a market can prevent differentiation, as differentiation usually comes with a higher cost of production. What is important to understand is the size of your target market and understand what is important when it comes to those customers choosing to buy a product or a service.
Thank you for watching the video and please hit that subscribe button.